more than one point something billion Muslims in the world. And look at our state. Look at our state. What Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tells detrimental hadith wallahi. He said, لا خير فيكم إذا فسد أهل الشام. There is no good in you, O Muslims, when the day comes that the people of Sham are corrupt. Their state is corrupt. They're neglected. Their state is destruction. There is no good in you. As though saying, Sham is the heart of you. And if its people are not looked after anymore, what is wrong with the Ummah of the Muslims of the world? Something is terribly, terribly wrong. We can blame the leaders. And Rasul Sallallahu did say that there will come a time when you will have leaders who are unjust and they will lead you in tyranny. And he also said, when the time comes, when the amana, the trust is given to the person who cannot hold it and the person who is a liar is believed and the person who is trustworthy is said to be a liar. Yes, it's going to come. But what about you and me who are not leaders? We have a responsibility first for yourself. Are you fulfilling that responsibility by being a person obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a person fulfilling your deen in the proper manner. He said, when there will be more evil people than the good ones, to the point when, listen to this, when the believers will hide themselves. The believers will hide themselves, too ashamed or too embarrassed or too scared to show themselves that they are believers, just like the way hypocrites today hide themselves. Hypocrites. In Medina, there were 17 hypocrites who used to look like Muslims on the outside, but they were actually spies there to plan and plot for the destruction of the Muslims. So they used to act like Muslims that they were actually disbelievers on the inside. There were 17 of them. No one knew about them except Rasul Sallallahu and Hudayf ibn al-Yaman. Even Umar anhu asked, who are they? And he wouldn't tell him. And he said, it will come a time where the believers will hide themselves because of the amount of and the corruption that's out there. Wallahi, as a teacher, I see this among the students all the time, among the youth. You find them, MashaAllah, they come from home, beautiful, modesty, character. And then they meet these other people and they uh, get overwhelmed by the bullying, you know, mental bullying. And so they become corrupt themselves. The shame goes away from them as if they weren't Muslims at all. At home, they're one thing. In the masjid, Allahu Akbar. But at school, with their friends, when they're out, totally different people, totally different. See, sisters, depends on who they're sitting with. Subhanallah, suddenly their language changes. From Subhanallah to talking about other people, to cursing other people. What is this? For Rasul said, the believers begin to feel shy to show that they're believers. They're too afraid. They don't want to get up and feel proud of it.